and we are on the way. Passenton, his corner is low, it's in towards Racine and it's in there and it's Golding! And it's somehow kept out. Just battling with Racine and he's needs the back of the chance here for Curtis Gaylor! And it just flashed across the six yard box and Curtis Gaylor. It's Cocoraccio. Plays it forward and now a chance for Golding to break into the box. It's a great chance to live it across and Bromwich manages to just about get there. Now Passenden low and it's deflected and it's in! And it's Worthing who take the lead. Jasper Patton and it was who fired the ball in. And I think it just came off the heel of another Worthing player on the way through to beat Mitch Bromwich. And after so much pressure throughout the first 40 minutes of this half, may be the more pleased of the two managers. Jamie Crellin. We'll be hoping your side don't concede another here before half time. And it comes to Adari, who just goes down on the edge of the area, but referee waves play on. Um, now Barker stepping forward. And his pass tries to find Keeley, but it might run through for Reese Meekham's golden opportunity. And it's Reese Meekham's who doubles Worthing's advantage. He found a gap on the right-hand side of three British defence and just curled it, caressed it into that far corner beyond the despairing Mitch Bromwich. And that's exactly the start to the second half that Worthing fans and gaffer Adam Hinchelwood would have wanted. Under a little bit of pressure, but hooks the ball forward and finds the runner Keeley into this left-hand channel. And he's looking to take on Brackpool. Goes one way and the other. Delivers it low, and it's not quite clear, and it's a great chance, and Deshaun Golding just can't quite keep his effort down. We are just about intercepted. And now Wilson goes for goal from range, but that one, speculative. And they might have a chance here to further add to their 2-0 lead. Pattenden. Trying to take on Ashley, delivers the ball into the box. It's headed towards goal and it's a great chance for Radari there. Stooping header. Here's Villa Vicencio and now perhaps a really good chance for Curtis Gaylor. But Harrison Mayle hasn't had to do much all evening. Here they come, maybe a great chance here. Patton into the box. Callum Keeley and oh, what a sliding challenge that was to deny Callum Keeley. Joe and Passenden takes the corner, it goes in. It might come on the edge of the area to David Vidari, and that is an absolute thunderbolt from David Vidari. Arrowed into the bottom left hand corner. On loan from Crawley, but making his mark at Worthing. It fell from on the edge of the area. And what a superb connection with the ball from David Radari. We've just under 20 minutes remaining, but three bridges will remain persistent. But Ollie Pierce here with chance to deliver a load to the box. It flashes across. And it is four. And it is Callum Keeley. On the score sheet, it's another low knee, and this time it's the Australian man, Callum Keeley. The cross came in from Ollie Pierce, and sliding into the near post was Callum Keeley to score his 10th goal of the season. Always plenty on for Sussex fans to watch. And now here comes Keeley, and it comes to Ollie Pierce, and just clips that one over the bar and he'll be disappointed. He's not able to. Luca Cocoraccio looks for that switch ball out and it's really well found. 
by Cucaracho. And here is Passenden. Finds Keeley who pulls one across and it's in. And it's that man again. Reese Miles Meekums. And it's five up for Worthing. And it's a fantastic switch of play by Luca Cocoraccio to start off that move. And eventually, after a delivery by Callum Keeley, it was Reese Miles Milken sliding in either side of Radari. And it's a chance for Perry here and almost uh, Miles Meekums just scoring two either side of Radari and Keeley. But maybe a chance here. And it's stopped by the feet of Harrison Mayle as the full-time whistle blows. And it is Worthing who will progress to the final of the Sussex Senior Challenge Cup.